put it in a box. You can't touch it. It's everywhere and nowhere. Guess what is? It's light. So what really is light and what is it made of? Questioning the nature of light also means questioning its speed. For a long time, people used to believe that light has an infinite speed, not because they measured it, but because no one was able to determine it. Until around 1676, when Danish astronomer Earl Roman proved that light travels at finite speed by studying Jupiter's moons and noticing that their eclipses took place sooner than predicted, when Earth was nearer to Jupiter and happened later when Earth was farther away from Jupiter. The speed of light is almost 3,000 km per second in a vacuum, which is fast enough to get from here to the moon in about 126 seconds. But wait a minute, why vacuum? Does that mean that the speed of light in the air or water is different? Technically, yes. But can light travel in a vacuum like outer space? The answer is yes. See, another thing people used to think of light is that uh, there must be a medium through which light travels. If sound needs air to go from point E to B, light needs something they call it. However, the negative outcome of the michelson morley experiment suggested that ether did not exist, and it was confirmed in subsequent experiments through the 1920s. Light has been a mystery for a very long time. Some of the greatest minds worked on its science, starting from Arab physicist Hassan ibn al-Haytham al hazm that showed through experiment that light travels in straight lines. A few centuries later, English physicist Sir Ishaq Newton took white light from the sunrise, its view of prism, and showed that all the colors of the rainbow would come out of white light, showing that white light is in fact a composite of red, orange, yellow, and blue. Newton also showed that it could be recombined to create light. He concluded then that light was in some sense particulate of little tiny corpuscles. After Newton, British physicist Thomas Young was able to show that light had weird like properties. Light shining through a small pinhole, get another pinhole, and have these two waves collide with each other. And there was beautiful interference puzzle. So now we have two rival theories of light. As for the great Albert Einstein, perhaps both theories are right. Simply, light is an electromagnetic wave. All electromagnetism radiations moves at the speed of light, the fastest speed in the universe. Why is that? Why the fastest speed possible? Well, that whole other topic. I hope that you enjoyed my video and thanks for watching.